Hello everyone. In this video tonight, we will do a tarot reading. We will do a pick a deck tarot reading and the question will be how to solve this problem in life. Let's say you have a problem, issue, it can be about love, money, psychological, anything, financial and please think of, of that problem, of that issue, that question and choose a deck. It's pretty much of an open reading. Um, I will not know what kind of question it is and we will just try to read despite of that and get some sort of guidance. I'm also gonna be using these love attraction cards because they help us create a situation with our thoughts so it can guide us on what to think in order to create a certain situation so if you'd like to participate in this reading please think of a question think of a problem issue that you want to know about and choose a deck and take your time please Have you chosen? So let's start with our deck number one, Morgan Greer Tarot deck. So I'm gonna do a situation problem advice spread. This is your situation this is the problem in this situation what kind of what's causing the situation or what is the challenge in the situation what is the best thing to do about it what is the advice and what's most likely outcome if you don't want to see the outcome you don't have to it's it's very liquid the outcome is just we're reading the present time mostly outcome is most likely what you're most likely gonna do most likely so if you don't like the outcome you can change it you can consciously just don't do it so that this doesn't happen so usually um or accept it or or something like that okay so let's have a look what is the situation how do cards uh, talk about the situation? King of Rods, probably knowledge or strength or confidence is being suspended. And we have like either employment situation or a family situation. So it feels like basically someone's potential is being suspended because of a um, something it can be let's say someone sacrificing for their family their power they're sacrificing their power they're not showing their full potential uh, because of their family life and responsibilities for someone else it can be um, someone is um, not showing full potential in the employment situation at the, in their work let's say somehow withholding themselves or you know king of rods is pretty powerful uh, pretty strong and with the hangman we might have somehow there's a problem with that strength like it's being stopped voluntarily by the person so and also for me we might get a arrest situation where someone is let's say being arrested so yeah I feel that someone might be in jail someone might be in prison with uh, King of Rods the hangman and the Ten of Pentacles being like an institution and uh, someone is being arrested for some of you maybe someone out there one one person two persons I don't know someone might be in that situation okay and um, 
So that sort of situation we have. Of course, you might be asking about other people and you might be asking about these people not performing well or acting strange, having power but acting strange uh, in a very responsible position, something like that. So that's the situation, yeah. Now let's have a look at what's the problem, what's the real problem. We have the lovers, we have the Ace of Cups and the Death card. So literally it looks like some sort of love has ended or a relationship has ended here or uh, a relationship or family situation is under threat or, or um, like there is if you ask about family issues then maybe there is some issues with um, with love and that the love is not flowing anymore there's blockages and there's um <clears throat> were like was like some sort of problems in the relationship you know, like some sort of tiredness or darkness or no feelings the person might be feeling numb in uh, in that relationship you know uh it could be that a relationship just ended and that's why the person is acting like that. It could be that love has ended and person is acting like that. It can be that inspiration has ended and the person has lost their guidance or it can be that because of a lover they end the situation. So some sort of problem with love and family <clears throat> and relationships especially romantic okay it can be of course depending on a question not only romantic but it could be some sort of union has been broken so let's see either breakup or just dissipation of that union it can be a dissipation of some sort of interest you know, so basically something's going on because of there's always a reason for things. So what is the best thing to do? We have World, Eight of Wands and Queen of Pentacles. Well, we definitely, we have kind of like action situation that someone has to communicate, do something, talk about it. Here we have more like a spreading of some sort of message throughout the world maybe throughout the internet and like talking about it it's media it's internet it's youtube it's <clears throat> also like doing something about it. it's not sitting in inaction it's actually like it can be advertising spreading of the word um uh, you know maybe even paying for that um it can be um, for example, letters, uh, news, you know, some sort of messages um, being told, talked about, you know, this issue is being talked about. So basically, um, and we have money also in some situations can be uh, someone needs to pay for things, you know, someone who has money. So so to say so there needs to be some sort of action in this particular situation okay now what is the most likely outcome we have the ten of swords and the four of pentacles king of pentacles we have the some sort of um financially good situation we have a stability yeah, we have um, a bit of um, stagnation going, a stable situation, a situation stops where money is, the situation stops where comfort is, and um, it can be secure financial situation, for example, even in relationships, relationships are stable and uh, based on materialistic side and uh, focused on for example materialistic stuff so if it's a relationship let's say a person is not act being themselves in a the marriage the um, there's no love they don't feel love it's like it's not coming 
there's this sense of numbness, what needs to be done, communication, initiation, talking, like a person you're, themselves need to initiate, can be, um, some sort of action needs to be done, but what will happen is, it can be investments and um, advertisement, so I think the goals might be achieved in a way, but I think for now, it's not going to collapse and nothing is going to collapse. Everything is going to stay stable. And uh, even if it's a marriage, it's going to be staying stable. Like, you know, st like about, it's going to be more about uh, care for materialistic things rather than emotionality and love. So security is guaranteed. So that sort of situation, maybe um, someone is going through things and um, I don't know, and that's the stage right now. Anyway, let's pull one law of attraction card and see what is the advice, what is the advice for you in this situation. The law of attraction, the most powerful universal law is my friend. So this card comes out when we think that everything is against us. Um, all these self-help books and all the spiritual literature and all the techniques and even the law of attraction is against ourselves. Sometimes it's about we want to give up and we don't understand things. So this card is saying that actually it's not like that. Actually it is working and it is um, on your side but it's m most likely a stage where you um, it's just uh, like a lower stage you know let's say where we must have focused on, on things too much and it attracted those things that we focused on too much and it's becoming more of them so what's important is to to, to redirect focus from the like relationship if relationship is in trouble then it's better not to think about relationship at all redirect direct uh, focus on something that's really going fine like i don't know work or hobbies or health or animals or nature or something movies you know just not to think about the sensitive subject so this is our reading number one. Let's move on to our reading number two now. Okay, and this is our deck number two, Spanish Tarot. Okay, deck number two. So we're reading about a situation, a problematic situation, let's say. So these three cards will represent the situation. And these three cards will represent the problem within that situation. This is the advice, things to do, and most likely outcome. Outcome is always liquid. I'm reading tarot from the perspective that we it reflects our thoughts. It reflects where we are right now mentally, and um, we can change thoughts. So we can change, you know, the outcome. Sometimes it happens. A situation is influenced by the outside and by the people, and we are just stuck in it. But my cards usually just show our inner state of being within the situation so how we feel about it so yeah we can always change the situation or at least try to change the situation let's see if we don't like the outcome it's most like it's mostly advice to do the opposite do something differently so that there's gonna be another outcome Okay, 
So what is the situation? Okay, it looks like it's um, some sort of success situation. Let's say we're talking about work or uh, achievement of some sort of goal, maybe financial. It feels like kind of a little goal. It can be exam for some people. Uh, I know it's not a little thing, but it's more like, like in school or maybe it's a little business or it's a little bit of success. Like it's just maybe a first success or a beginner's uh, some sort of business. So mm, based on these cards, it looks like everything is fine. Everything is fine. It's small comparatively. It's, it can be a little bit financial. It can involve interactions with other people, exchanges. And it can involve some sort of like YouTube channel or a website or business or some sort of like school you know um so that sort of feels light okay the situation feels pretty light let's have a look what's the problem we have queen of cups which is emotional who is emotional chariot is success and king of coins is finances so who knows maybe you're um you have a little successful business but or a successful venture or something like that uh but you want more you want um more success more money let's say and you're not there where you want to be let's say you're not in that bigger stage or bigger success you know and bigger money let's say so that's the biggest problem um you know, Queen of Cups is appearing here, so maybe you think, maybe you're too nice or not very business-minded, you know. Maybe you suffer from being too empathic or emotional with people. Maybe you struggle in taking money from people. Maybe um, there is some sort of like shyness going uh, in, in that business, and maybe you think that's the problem as well. <clears throat> so it can be these things. Now, what is the advice we have the lovers which can be friends partner love of a subject the high priestess and ace of wands so look um it can be a tarot reading job it can be education some sort of job basically what i feel it says it says um a lot just think about the love of the thing that you're doing go don't think about that money money is a result so it could say that think about what you love in this you know that you love doing this like subject or you like teaching for example or you like tarot reading and just uh, let your gut to guide you do what you're passionate about um just you need to have that artistic outlook here not the business outlook here so if you go where your passion leads you where intuition leads you you'll probably get to the place where you have to be so it's just don't worry about all that it will happen automatically think about your passion and why you're here why you're doing this and uh, you might feel this urges to act in a certain way or do a certain thing you know like uh, for example spontaneous type of urges or spontaneously you might have ideas you know to do something so you're encouraged to do it you know with lovers sometimes you might have partnerships with other readers or other uh, teachers or other people and combining things together so it can say that uh, you can you know it's encouraging for you to partner up with someone else also and do the same thing together so it's just like whatever makes you happy and love whatever makes you love the thing you love even more and that sort of advice now let's see what's most likely to happen so yeah very career-minded type of thinking looking into outside for opportunities always being aware of new things okay this can symbolize some sort of maybe um, a new book or a deck or something like publish something or do something uh, 
Yeah, and we have some sort of uh, like five of swords, just kind of disappointment. You can say a bit of a loss. Maybe you'll spend. There's a risk of spending for uh, for things. Let's say buying books or decks or courses or something. It could be, um, you know, the risk of um, because of being very passionate. Let's say spending money you know, for, for things more than it's needed. Uh, also, there is a possibility of losing some money, you know, so spending or losing, basically, not keeping it. And it's okay, it can be the process, so it, it might be fine. So it might say that financially, um, things might not go as great as you would like to it's important to be happy with a little bit and it's normal for the finances to fluctuate in this situation uh, what you need to focus on is the real deal the 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 passion the love the the thing the talent that you have you know that sort of thing okay and uh, what is that advice from the law of attraction cards we have law of attraction cards i like to pull one it's very positive and encouraging so what's the advice from the law of attraction card my joy doesn't bend upon the approval of others see this card comes out usually when we blame others for our failures or you know lack of success and things like that we think that it's their fault let's say if we um, do not become successful so we basically put all the responsibility all the blame on other people it can be very subconscious can be very subtle it doesn't have to be like you're aware of it but sometimes we you might be focusing on other people what do they think what do they feel their opinions their feedback their reviews you know what does your partner say for example what are your relatives saying what are your friends saying what are the customers saying clients i don't know and then you kind of forget what you're all about because you're focusing on others so much so this card might either say that um do not be so worried about what others are thinking and saying their their opinion is their opinion another meaning can be um um uh, is that oh just slipped my mind yeah it can be that you have a lot of enemies for example in what you're trying to achieve and they are really criticizing you and it's a real thing for example but still it's important not to attach your you know happiness to other people's experiences and their feedback completely uh, like um especially if you're trying to do new thing in the beginning there might be lots of negative feedback but it's important to be faithful and loyal to yourself and do what you really love and um, don't let anyone's even let's see if you're a nice person you're empathic you're sac self uh, selfless you know people like that sometimes always get stomped on you know and used let's say often it happens if you're thinking about others all the time and completely forget yourself you might feel that you're empty there is nothing left and you don't know who you are anymore so that's sort of advice my joy doesn't depend upon the approval of others you can repeat it as an affirmation so this was our reading number two and let's move on to our deck number three. Our deck number three, right away, tarot deck. 
We're reading about a problem, an issue that you might be having. You might want advice and you might want to know how will it end. It can be any issue, it can be love, money, health, uh, psychological something, <clears throat> goals, dreams, and etc. So first let's pull three cards to have a look at the situation. How would the cards describe the situation? Second would be what is the problem? What is the real problem within the situation? What is the advice? What is the advice? And what's most likely outcome? We'll also be pulling one love attraction card in the end. Situation. We have like a um, relationship situation generosity giving of emotions so we kind of have a, a situation where let's say you're struggling to share your feelings with someone you cannot open up or you cannot be nice to people or you're afraid to express yourself there's something like that um there's something about giving and sharing and i think because of queen of cups it's something emotional uh some sort of fear like it's a big deal for you you know to 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 do it there's something like that like very deep emotional it might be even sexual for some people for example prop sexual problems or can be relationship problems where it's very hard to open up or share feelings or find a balance somehow in those relationships and things. So there's a, a struggle, some sort of struggle of that sort. Now what's the real problem? We have the Wheel of Fortune, which feels like a change, very fast moving something, again, movement, travel, um, page of wands. So we have a very feeble nature of a person it seems like it's very floaty something is very floaty maybe it's personality maybe it's a uh, temper maybe it's um even a mental disorder for some people so it can be like something's very uh, changing so fast and there's no grip uh, always the sense of like being new and uh, like um not knowing a lot about the situation about people so it's like like feeling like a beginner all the time feeling like you're you're new in the situation so it can be like hmm, like lack of experience you know it can be like being like a um, new kid in school or being like a foreigner somewhere our things are changing so fast that you cannot keep up with things so you're like uh, not able to focus properly on things you know something like that not having a lot of knowledge about things something unexpected you know something very suddenly you know it can be something suddenly something immature you know there's so many things here so those two cards like talk about car or travel or even but this one's something like new So yeah, not being able to keep up with things and things too fast and things are new and things unexpected and that causes you to be naturally resistant to any, to the maybe relationships or communication or sharing or talking or, you know, things like that. So what is the advice here? Justice is the need to see the situation clearly. Sometimes it can symbolize doctors and hospitals, can symbolize legal people, police, things like that. 
and uh, you know here I think it's like getting help for me you know with, with these cards like you're not alone in this there are other people who are exactly like you and in this situation and often it can symbolize help and support uh, from someone it's seeking the win-win in this situation it is possible to to win in this situation this card is saying and with justice is like finding that clarity and balance and and um it's important to have a very clear mind no emotions in this situation it's important to uh, grab things very factually how to say and um, maybe write it down what really bothers you you know not your personal interpretation of it but uh, actual facts and with those facts you can go somewhere seek help and tell people you know this and this is happening you know like a fact of what happened not how you feel and interpretation of those and somehow i feel that there might be a lot of people who, who are in the same situation and there might be a lot of support in in this situation so so that sort of um a situation here you know and i think you can succeed here what is the most likely outcome tendency of not to take action and just suffer on your own uh, without asking for anyone's help but no you will maybe suffer a little bit you will think about it a little bit you know you will probably not rush to get help but eventually you will think about it and you will um uh, you probably will research it you know you're somehow try to find it so i think everything is fine this is a process which will lead you naturally to want to look for some sort of like help if there's something bothering you and um, to look for some sort of solutions it's like a positive uh, hope type of feeling in the end now let's pull one love attraction card and see what is advice for you in this situation from the love attraction cards what thoughts to think the universe knows me and the universe adores me so this card comes when we don't accept ourselves the way we are and it is very powerful card because it says that uh, universe where you come from as a spirit as a soul they have the knowledge of you who you really are even more than you're aware of uh, they know more about you than you yourself know and no, it doesn't matter what you've done in life doesn't matter what you think you've done or no matter how horrible person you are let's see if you think you are um despite of all that even what you've done in your past lives the universe still adores you and accepts you fully so if you think badly about yourself or criticize yourself this card says you're being loved and it's true I always believe in these cards these are my bad day cards you know when I'm in a bad situation these cards always kind of lift me up <laughs> give like uh, affect me in a positive way so so yeah and it completely loves you and completely understands you it completely knows what you're going through and it will support you you know and um yeah cards um also like um help to find that help they can help they can suggest us to go to a doctor if we need they can suggest us go to a therapist if we need to they can suggest uh, going to the legal seek legal help you know so they are not saying that they know everything they basically um they basically can offer us some ideas on what else we can do so it's like just a medium okay so this was our reading number three 
I hope that this was helpful. I know I switched off my comments, so I will not be able to read your comments. But I still hope that you can get some use from these readings and maybe contemplate on your own, you know, whether it was accurate or not accurate, you know, and whether it was helpful or not helpful. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you again the next time. I don't know when I will be able to make a reading, but uh, I'm pretty sure I will make a reading. So bye-bye.